if I want to do Ruth right now, I can do do it right now. It's whatever, right? So, <laughs> you know, and then then if it's Anna, I can do Anna. If I, but you know, I don't know if I'm very rusty. I don't know. But you know, so I can do tapping in out. Yeah, you get to that place where you just know that person so well. It's kind of always in there. I was geeking out. I was watching your Fallon interview. You, I think you posted on your Instagram that clip of you doing the accent was absolutely incredible. And I think more people should see that and do that because they don't really understand how much goes into that work. And I wanted to ask you in terms of how easy are your accents to access in the sense of like, could you just go into Ruth if you wanted to right away? Or could you, like, is it that simple? Well, I, I no. No, it's not simple. Not simple. <laughs> you know, I yeah. If you want anything to be great, it's it's it can seem like it's simple, but it's not. Um, but I yeah, I I I want to always get to the point where I can tap in and out of the accent. Wow. I always want to get to that point. So, but I've been doing Ruth for so it, it was so in in me that you know if I want to do Ruth right now, I can do do it right now. It's whatever, right? So, <laughs> you know, and then. Then if it's Anna, I can do Anna. If I, but you know, I don't know if I'm very rusty. I don't know, but you know, so I can do tapping in out. Yeah, you get to that place where you just know that person so well. It's kind of always in there. It's like I have a, a collection of the characters that I play, and I and I keep them in the box. And I'm oh. maybe maybe I might use some of it years and years from now, but they're just staying in the box. That's incredible. Thank you for, for doing that. It was really cool to hear that, just that transition alone. Um, one thing I love about your performances and as, as an actor is the physicality you have for the roles, like the way your characters, the way you hold yourself as the characters, even if you look at someone like Ruth or she's walking around, what she does with her arms and she puts her arms up like this, or even Anna. Can you talk about the actual physicality aspect of it, how important that is, and when you actually lock into it, is that like really the path into finding kind of the way the character moves? Because to me, that's fascinating. I think it helps. I think it's a helpful um, thing to find how somebody moves. Everybody moves differently. Every person is different. Yeah. Everybody has a certain tick that they do that is different from it's everybody's unique in their own way. And you just have to be willing to, um, wow, I, for a second, it sounded like De Delvey. You just have to be willing to do the work, but, <laughs> but you just have to be really willing to do the work. I mean, it is true. So yeah. Yeah, it's um, and I also love doing it. I love getting to know the characters that I'm playing, and um, you know, Anna and Ruth, they move completely differently. Yeah. But even it's, I mean, it comes down to even somebody's shoes. Shoes are also an important thing for me. Oh, that's really. You know, my wife and I were having a discussion about the humanity of these characters that you play, because at the end of the day, they're if they're if they're if the character has done something wrong, like Anna's character, like. There's something brilliant about the way you bring her to the screen where we immerse ourselves so much that we care, we understand why a character does what they do. Um, for someone like Anna, when you walk away from it after doing all the episodes that you do, does Anna teach you anything about yourself? I, I'm, I know that the character is wildly different from who you are, but do you learn anything about yourself through her? You know, I, um, you know, we're very different, uh, but I think Anna, the thing that we have in common is that we're both dreamers. You know, mm. Anna came to New York and she has had a, she had a dream. You know, I am a big dreamer. I mean, so much so that I literally, I'm, I'm, I play make believe for a living. Like, yeah. like that you can't get any, I mean, I'm a, a grown child essentially. So, the, you know, the, I'm a big dreamer and, um, that's very that's that's where we are in common and i think too what i want people to get out of this project is you know to me it's about people struggling with their identity not even anna everybody in the show is struggling with their identity essentially yeah. and anna being afraid to uh fail so much so that she goes to that degree so she won't fail and mm -hmm. having and behind the fear of failure is the fear of rejection um being afraid to be rejected and i just keep on thinking like that is i feel like universally one of the biggest problems right now in this day and age is people have a really unhealthy self-esteem yeah. um because of social media and the fear of rejection is so much deeper and 
uh, harder in a way now because people are putting them, themselves out there, but it's not a real version of themselves. Mm. So everybody's kind of doing a Delby in a way. Yeah, you're so right about that idea of like the public persona and like it's it's interesting. They're wrapping me up. I just want to say congratulations to you. At some point, I do want to geek out with you about the aspect ratio change from seasons one and two to three and four for Ozark. I wondered why Jason did that. I was always wondered how that happened. So I'll have to ask you that next time. But I love that show. So thank you, thank you Kevin. Yeah, thank you have a, a nice day. Thank, thank you. you.